there's always places to improve and you feel always oh it should break later or, or you have a little bit sideways but uh, that's a normal story especially like places like here so uh, um, it was good enough for pole position so that, that's the main thing and the car, car was working quite well in, uh, in qualifying especially from Q2 onwards and uh, um, you know no complaints. I wanted to be on pole so I'm not entirely happy but if I had to pick a driver then I would pick Kimi. Uh, so it's good to have uh, the front row for the team, second time this year. Um, yeah, I think we have uh, plenty to look forward to. The car is really good, felt great in quality as well. Um, as I said, not entirely happy with my performance, but overall, um, very important to put the cars in the first row. Is it satisfaction today or relief? Can it be both? <laughs> yeah, okay, a little bit both. A little bit annoying as well, um, being just a few hundreds away from, from the pole. But uh, yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed it out there today. Uh, just getting that kind of lap that I had in the end reminds you why you do this, you know. In, in Monaco, it's just a good, cool feeling to um, be on the limit. But uh, yeah, Ferrari's been, been stronger all weekend, stronger today. So we need to try and do something better than them tomorrow if we want to win. A better weekend, shall we say, uh, than last year so far for you anyway. Are you happy with your qualifying run? Yeah, I think you know you have to be uh, you have to be realistic, and I think this was the best we could do. Um, you always try to go flat out, and I think my lap was pretty much on the limit of what I could do. So um, yeah, Ford today was the best. You know, we are not we are not too far off, but I think we just couldn't get the tires in like fully like we want like we wanted. But still, you know, it's all right. It's never easy around here. Don't don't get me wrong, but uh, I felt like we just made some basic errors on the last run. Um, I need to have a look, maybe I missed something obvious, but uh, you know, we, we committed to doing just one lap and uh, you need to make that outlap hard, you know, you need to uh, go fast, get the tyres going because they're so hard to warm up here, but uh, if you can get that outlap, you know, going well, then you, you're ready for the first time lap, but uh, we came out with cars in front, a clear track behind, so I don't know why we didn't wait, you know, so I couldn't push on the outlap and then uh, my, my fast lap, the tyres were nowhere, they're, they're still waiting to get warmed up. I think I'm one place higher than, than what I thought it was possible, that was P7 behind the three fastest teams. So P6 is a, a bonus for us, which I think we deserve after a very complete weekend, uh, building it up until qualifying. I, I must say in Q1 I was a bit surprised with the pace of the midfield, suddenly they caught up a lot on us. So we had to start putting really fast laps from Q1 onwards, which I don't like in Monaco. I prefer to build it up little by little for Q3 and uh, finally in Q3 the best lap of the weekend came. and. We are now P6. P8? That's an incredible run. Um, <laughs> was that expected? No. Um, we, we did struggle to go out of Q1. I was pushing really hard. and was, didn't see my, my name in the top 10 um, on the big screen. I was like, oh, getting a bit worried and eventually pulled out the last good lap and uh, got through. Q2 was amazing. had a really good lap. Tires worked. Then Q3, rear tires didn't quite work. Jensen, your first qualifying session for six months and you bang it straight into Q3. It looked like you had a lot of fun out there. I did. Q3... I wish I didn't bother going out because it was a disaster. Uh, I just couldn't get the tyres working and that's the thing, you go through the testing and you improve the car and you, you start to feel it more and more. Uh, these things are awesomely quick by the way and it's, that's a shock to the system, being able to carry speed and the car just does different things than what it's been doing for the last seven years. It's getting used to that and then trying to fine tune it through qualifying. It felt like a good progression and I got to Q3 and I was like, guys I, I don't know where the car's going to be, I've, not, I've been out of the car for ten minutes now. I don't know how the circuit's going to be, how the car's going to behave, how the tyres are going to behave, because it's I haven't experienced this with this car, so it didn't go to plan, but um, still, P9, I think we should be uh, happy with that. Obviously, I start 20th, but today was the day to go and have fun, and I did that. I really don't really know what the problem is. I mean, it's devastating to see that the, the other car was able to get the tyres working clearly, and, and I just couldn't get the tyres to work. They were, you know, breaking the cars under rotating and just sliding and uh, sliding through the corners, and I just—it's like the tires were cold. Um, as soon as I come out the gar I come out the pits, you know, the tires felt like they were of a decent temperature, and then no matter how much I was pushing, they were—it's like they were decreasing in the grip level. And you know, I, I, I gave it everything I could. The first mistake was me touching the wall, um, which which gave me a puncture on the rear left. Uh, there was a bit of damage on the floor because of that as well. Then the next mistake was to be in the puncture setting trying to set a time lap. So uh, I was thinking something wasn't quite right. And then finally the, the guys saw what it was and we changed the setting and uh, one lap and, and I didn't make a great fist of it. 
yeah, it's a bit unfortunate what happened to to us. Um, I think we we could have could have made it into Q2 for sure. Um, you know, looking at, uh, at at our pace at the weekend and. And I think, uh, yeah, just not being able to finish the session, not getting the, the, the lap time uh, out of the car that, that we knew we could get. So just just one of those sessions that kind of sucks for everyone. <laughs> we saw Esteban this morning and, uh, and and me now that, you know, the closer you get to qualifying, the more you need to go close to the walls and uh, you go a little bit too close and it's enough to, to end your session. So it was unfortunate. I wasn't on quite a good lap. I think I was three tenths up on my previous best. So it was, it was looking all right. And then, you know, you just try and push it a bit closer to the wall in, in every corner and I just overdid it a bit in turn 10, so unfortunate.